how to calculate heat loss with differences between indoor and outdoor temperature. Let's see comparison between different outdoor temperatures. Here is example with different outdoor temperatures. What mean different outdoor temperatures? Depending on uh, each country, in some countries, uh, for example, if in UK, as far as I know, regulation and uh, national bodies, they insist that heat loss must be calculated for 100%. What means 100%? It means that average minimum temperature for some period of time is taken into account. In some other cases, in some other countries, you can choose 99.6 or 99. What is the difference? Here is example for Zagreb in Croatia. So for example, minimum outdoor temperature for design is minus 12.6 degrees Celsius. And if you choose 99.6%, it means that 0.4% of the year will be lower than this temperature and 99.6% of the year will be higher than this temperature. And for Zagreb, 99.6 is minus 9.3 degrees Celsius. And if you choose 99%, it's minus 6.7 degrees Celsius. You can clearly see how we are lowering our percentage. That's how the temperature is higher. This is fine because we are using a uh, statistical uh, deviation and here 1% of the year will be lower than minus 6.7 and here for average there will no be lower than minus 12.6 degrees celsius you can read this data from your national authority bodies for example in croatia you can you can read this from from the from this manual but you can also go on ASHRA website I will put the link below and on ASHRA website you can choose for each station what you want to use why is this important someone will say okay let's put 100% and you are you are sure that, that this is fine for heat pump this is not slightly correct because we will have most of the year oversized unit of course, you need to you need to balance between correct capacity on outdoor temperature. But what is the what is the difference? For example, on Asha website, you can also see how many times in last five, ten, or fifty years was the lowest temperature. And for Zagreb example, in last five years minimum was minus fifteen. In last ten years minus seventeen. In last twenty years minus nineteen. And in last 50 years, minus 21. So in last 50 years, uh, minimum was minus 21. It, it doesn't make sense to calculate heat loss or to design your heating system for few hours in 50 years. For me, I will always choose somewhere between 99 or 99.6. Uh, I live in Zagreb, so I know that probably few hours per year will be minus 10. And if you choose a specific uh, value, then you need to calculate heat loss. So let's see differences. Here, if we choose minus 12.6, indoor temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. It means that our outdoor indoor difference is 32.6 degrees. So 20 minus minus 12.6 equals 32.6 and on that heat loss for some example or, or some house we have 9.78 kilowatt and if we divide 9.78 or in what 9780 we divide it with temperature difference 32.6 we have value of 300 watts per one degree Celsius. What this means? 
it means that on outdoor temperature, 20 degrees, indoor 20, we have zero, we don't have heat loss. If indoor is 20, outdoor is 19, we have 300 watts. And for each degree Celsius of difference, we have 300 watts additional. If we know this, we can calculate what is on minus 9.3, we have 8.79 kilowatts. And on minus 6.7, we have 8 kilowatts. So it is very big difference between minus 6.7 and minus 12.6. So it's six degrees and around one, 1.8 kilowatts. So 300 watts multiplied with six degrees, it's 1.8. So you need to choose, do you want to, to design your heating system on this temperature? and you need 9.78 or on this temperature and you need 8 kilowatt. It will affect your heating system. It will affect which capacity you will choose. In one of previous videos, I explained uh, what is the main issue with oversizing. And uh, we will also show in one of the next videos what will be minimum and maximum modulation of heat pump. So this is for sure important. Additional point, someone will say, okay, on that temperature, you will be cold at your house. This will, uh, in, in calculation, this, this makes sense sometimes, but in reality, especially for new builds, we have really high thermal, uh, thermal mass of the underfloor heating of the concrete wall windows. So this whole house has some capacity and it's not like at that point we will be cold. Probably not. But it is depending on each country, so you need to check for your country what will be the main, the main thing to go and what will be the main approach. On Asher websites, you can find all different cities in the world. Uh, it, it was really interesting to, to see this comparison. I was also a, a, bit, a bit shocked because it's really, really high. And this is also, this example is for, for some some specific house. Your house, if it's not so much insulated, heat loss per degree will be higher. And depending how big, how big is the house. Hope this is more clear now. So different outdoor temperatures, of course, affect heat loss because our temperature difference between indoor and outdoor is different. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on, on channel and see you in next episode.